everyone welcome to another video slightly different than usual um, I want to share my GPU uh, GPU my general my uh, graphic settings from Microsoft Flight Simulator I'm uh, running an RTX 2060 but if you have a different GPU just follow along because I will explain how I adjust my settings and you can do the same with your uh, GPU and, and, and CPU because it's also has quite an influence on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator First we want to go to general settings, go over to uh, developers mode, switch on developer mode, go up here and check display FPS. It will show up this window and uh, you don't need any additional uh, FPS counters or whatsoever. Be aware that my FPS is by 5-6 FPS lower average uh, because I'm recording now with Nvidia Shadowplay. Um, you want to switch off shadow play in geforce experience as well if you're not recording videos because even if you're not recording it has an impact on your fps so switch off shadow play in case it's switched on and you're not doing any video recording um, you can switch off developer mode this one will stay we will go straight to the graphics and first i want to show you what it looks like so we got a 56 we saw 53 54 everything is smooth working perfectly so even when we start turning the aircraft start making more movements fps looks good and steady so um <coughs> this is a very uh, yeah busy area very dense terrain uh, a lot of detail so it's uh, New York and then Central Park. Uh, if you want to go to Central Park, which is a great area for adjusting your uh, graphic settings, uh, and select 6 November 6, 6 and 6 in your departure area. It's a seaplane area, never mind. Go to the left and you will have Central Park there. Um, I pick a Cessna 152 because I can trim it very nicely and that's just working out very well. Going back to settings, we go to traffic. And I drop these three slides. I dropped them. I don't need that much uh, vehicle and aircraft density at the airports and the worker density because as soon as I take off, I don't look at them anymore. Uh, but they're still, yeah, they still need to be rendered and they're still uh, on the airport. So I dropped these for me uh, personally. That's working out fine. Going over to graphics. Um, that's why I make this new video because I was watching graphic settings and it seems like they changed and, and, and maybe added a few settings <coughs> you can adjust after uh, SU12, Service Update 12. These two for example I did not see in uh, much other videos. So going back all the way on top, I'm running now 1920, 1080 full screen. I have a television connected at the moment so it's not great for the FPS uh, and I'm running a, a monitor with my laptop closed. So it's not rendering two displays, seems to be better. This one is set to performance. Uh, this one is set to 70, you can bring it to 10 even as well, it's not doing much difference. So I was reading on the forums, so 70 seems fine. <coughs> so DirectX 12 for NVIDIA users, AMD seems like uh, DirectX 12 is working, 11 is working better. Going down to the settings, just take a look at these settings. Texture super sampling. <coughs> at these settings and the bottom ones so what I did after watching plenty <laughs> uh, graphic setting videos uh, the global rendering quality is set to ultra and after that start tweaking everything and, and uh, lowering the, the, the less important ones <coughs> first <coughs> Excuse me, and then leaving the, the higher ones uh, high, so you can see straight away that this one, by the way, high is working out better now for me. You can see that there are still a few settings on ultra water rays, for example, are medium. You can increase this one if you're flying with seaplanes. If not, it doesn't make sense to keep it higher because you will not see the difference when you're 500 feet above the ground or so. Shadow maps, terrain shadows, these are relatively low. <coughs> if you bring them up all the way there. Um, but I was testing with higher shadow settings and it has a huge impact on FPS but if you're carefully looking at the, at the rain and the, the detail there's not so much difference to see 
Uh, maybe if you're playing on a 4K monitor, huge uh, monitor, big screen, maybe you can spot the differences, but for me it's, it doesn't make any difference. Going down, I got Bloom and Motion Blur Strategy switched off. For me personally, I don't need these two, and it has again an impact on FPS. Lens correction, lens flash switched off as well, and glass cockpit refresh rate to medium. A higher setting for me, I don't see the difference, and again, it did influence the FPS. Um, so like I said, these two settings I didn't see in the other videos. Uh, I believe it was these two. This cube map reflections for sure. Again, reflections, I, uh, it's not shadow, it's reflections, but I did drop it as well. If you have better GPU than the RTX 2060, or it's maybe even an RTX 2060 Super or uh, a full desktop GPU, you can start increasing the terrain level of detail slider up to 100 uh, without any problem. And you can start increasing buildings and terrain vector data to ultra. And texture super sampling you can bring up to 16. No, 8 then it is, 8 or 6. And there was one more, let me see. Maybe this one you can bring up to Ultra, yeah. But, do it like I did it, do it one by one. Keep an eye on the FPS and start tweaking the settings slowly. If you have an RTX 2060, just start off with this and you can try to tweak it around a little bit, but I think this is like the best you will get. So if you have an RTX 2060, it's easy, just follow these settings. If you have a different GPU, a better one, start adjusting the settings I just mentioned slowly, one by one, terrain, uh, buildings trees in the detail slider um, I think the easiest way if you have a better GPU is to leave all the settings like this increase buildings and trees maybe if you like some scenery flying to ultra and start increasing this slider slowly until you reach a sweet spot with the FPS which is yeah suitable for you which you like if you increase this one you can easily adjust uh, the, the, the quality of the, of the gameplay and you don't have to change all the other settings. The other settings I was busy so long tweaking them and finding the best and watching so many videos so if you start moving around these settings it's hard to keep an eye on what you're changing and what's doing most. So I would suggest just adjusting this slider and uh, keep it like that. Uh, like I said, uh, no um, in NVIDIA Switch of Shadow Play, if you're not recording any videos, because it has an impact on the FPS even when you're not recording, so Switch of Shadow Play if you're not using it. And in Windows Task Manager, give Microsoft Flight Simulator a high priority. <coughs> Control Delete, Task Manager, go down here, there's just like deep details, find Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think it might be on normal now. Priority, normal, yeah switch that to, ho to high, change priority. So going back, uh, discard these changes. Going back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, there we go. It, for me, this it's, it's red, <laughs> I know, but 55 is perfectly, I will be even uh, happy with 30. <laughs> going inside the cockpit, making the gauges move around, and the yokes, you will see everything is perfectly fine. Switching on some clouds. It takes some time to get everything up and loaded, but here we go. FPS is still stable due to the cloud settings. Um, and yeah, personally, to me, this looks perfectly fine. I have no complaints whatsoever. Reflections are nice, as you can see. Uh, shadows. So uh, I hope this is uh, this is useful. It's for uh, this. Maybe helps a few players tweak their settings because I found it very difficult in the beginning. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I see how I can do. Right, thanks a lot. Bye bye.